Super Versa 2 and the Apple Watch Series 5 are two heavyweights in the smartwatch world. In this video, I'm going to compare these two smartwatches to see how they face off against each other and ultimately which one is the winner. Also, stay until the end because I'm going to be giving away a smartwatch to one of you guys. So let's get into it. Yes, one of the biggest differences when it comes to these two smartwatches is the price. The Apple Watch at $400 is almost double that of the Fitbit Versa 2 at $200. I've worn and used both these smartwatches and I must admit there is quite a huge difference, so let's check them out. So as mentioned, there is quite a big difference between these two devices, but first up, let's take a look at the similarities. They both have Spotify built in natively on the watch, so you don't have to download an additional app. And here you can control your Spotify music, of course, and change to various playlists. Both watches also have a flashlight function, which is super useful, of course, when you just need a little bit of light. And there's also a flashing option that makes your watch flash like this in case of emergency. Both watches also allow for NFC payments, so you just load on your credit cards or debit cards, whatever you have, and then when you go to the store, just pay with your watch. I also really like that they have this relaxed kind of breathe feature on each of them, where it just helps you in the moment to calm down for five minutes just by running through a quick breathing exercise. Of course, they also both have fitness tracking, whether you're running, working out with weights, you name it, there are a bunch of different fitness workouts to choose from so that it tracks your heart rate and all that jazz. You can also receive a number of different notifications on both these watches. So here, for example, I received a WhatsApp and then of course you can also answer and decline calls from both these watches. So as you can see, quite a lot of similarities and does make for a tough choice. So chatting about a couple of features that are very different between these two watches. On the Apple Watch, you have a photo gallery that you can access and view some of your favorite pictures from your device. I think this is so cool and really nice to show people your images when out and about. You also have this find my phone feature where if you've lost your device or misplaced it, you simply tap on that button and it'll start ringing and obviously flashing. So this is really helpful. Another huge difference, of course, is you can make phone calls directly from the Apple Watch without having to touch your phone. This for me is a really big one because it is so convenient to just use your watch when answering or making calls and it is also surprisingly clear the quality of the audio from your watch. This is another fantastic and super helpful feature on the Apple Watch and it's controlling your phone's camera all from the watch. As you can see, you can take pictures from it, control the settings and even flip the camera around into selfie mode or back again if you want to. So this is another feature I really enjoy and is super nifty. But then chatting about the Fitbit different features, their sleep tracking feature is super interesting with a lot of detail. And with the Apple Watch, you can't really do this simply because the battery doesn't last. I also really enjoy the continuous heart rate tracking of the Fitbit Versa. No matter what, when you look down at your watch, you can see your heart rate. Another really interesting feature they have is the Fitbit Air. This is a scale that you can buy additionally and whenever you hop on it, it'll transfer your BMI, your weight, and a couple other metrics to your watch. I actually have that scale. It works really well and this is just something I haven't seen from other smartwatch companies. All right, on to customization. And there are so many different watch faces to choose for the Apple Watch just by heading into the watch app. So as you can see, there are tons to choose from in so many different colors and variations. And once you've chosen the one you like, you just click add and boop, bam, it changes the face on your watch. And of course, these watch faces also have the always on display option, so rock on. Fitbit also have an amazing gallery of watch faces from the Fitbit app that also have some additional customization settings. So of course, you just go through the various watch faces, select the one you like the most and install that watch face. It'll take a couple of minutes, but once it's installed, your watch face will change automatically. And then again, from there, you can customize it a little bit further by changing the colors. I must admit, I really love that with both these watches, you can customize the watch face to best suit you. When it comes to the battery life, I am sad to say the Apple Watch really does not do a great job because you only get about a day's battery. However, with the Fitbit Versa, you can get up to six days battery life 
and I have tried these watches out for myself guys. This is super accurate and I struggle with the Apple Watch sometimes. They both also have the always on display which of course is super nifty but can drain the battery a little bit. So if you head on over to settings on the Apple Watch and then under display and brightness you will see the option to toggle off the always on display. So that could help a little bit with battery and at least there's that option. Then the same also goes for Fitbit. You've got the always on display but if you swipe down and head over to quick settings you can toggle off the always on display just by tapping on that icon and then again I feel like the battery does last a little bit longer. So I love that both these watches have the always on display option that of course is super nifty but the Fitbit Versa definitely takes the cake when it comes to battery life because I mean six days guys that is a pretty decent time but Apple Watch not so much. <laughs> I love me some watch straps and of course you can customize your watch until your heart is content. I'll have these ones linked down below in case you guys are interested but with the Apple Watch it is super duper simple to change the straps. You simply just click down on this tiny little button right at the top and it'll slide out just as you see me doing here and the same goes for the bottom strap as well. Then all you do is you get your brand new strap and slide it on in, it'll click into place and you're good to go. I seriously love how quick and simple this is because I love to change my watch straps all the time and this just makes life a lot easier so whether you're into that sporty silicone or a super slick stainless steel look there are so many different options out there and like i said i'll have these ones linked down below and then with the fitbit once again you also can change up the watch straps until your heart is content it is definitely a lot more tricky changing the fitbit versus straps as opposed to the apple watch there's basically this little bar that you need to slide towards the right in order to unclip the watch straps yes indeed it can be super frustrating and tricky but with a little time of patience and practice I assure you you'll get much better at popping your watch strap on and in my opinion although it is super hard to put the straps on I still prefer that there's this option and we can do it at home if we want and once again I'll have these various ones linked down below in case you guys are interested in some super slick silicone straps. <laughs> We also have a little AI built into each of these watches. So Apple Watch has Siri and the Fitbit has Alexa. It's super nifty because you can just say, how do you spell subscribe? And it'll of course give you the answer right from your watch. Something else to note is of course, the Apple Watch only works with iPhones. However, the Fitbit works with either Android or iPhone devices. So this is a big plus and something to consider. <laughs> So if you have an iPhone, then the best watch for you is definitely going to be the Apple Watch because of all the amazing features you get with the Apple Watch and iPhone combo. It's also really hard to ignore all the extra features you get like controlling your phone's camera and even making phone calls through the watch. I mean, that's a big deal. But if you don't have the budget, then the Fitbit Versa 2 is exactly what you need. However, if you're an Android user, then you should definitely go for the Fitbit Versa 2 because of course the Apple Watch is not going to work on your phone. And besides all the amazing features you get on this watch for the price, it's really, really good. I'm pretty sure you guys are interested in smartwatches, so I'm going to be giving away this Fitbit Charge 3 to one of my lucky subscribers. This watch still has many of the Fitbit Versa features, such as fitness tracking, sleep tracking, and all that jazz. And to enter, all you have to do is comment down below and say, I want the Fitbit Charge 3, and you're in. I'll announce the winner on my community tab, so keep an eye out. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe, or you can check out some of my other Apple Watch and Fitbit videos videos right over here but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!